Drew here for Frisco Tennis Stringing. Today we're going to talk about tennis string gauge. If you're a tennis player, it is an important thing to know when you're picking out your racket strings what the gauge of the string is. So let's take a look. As you see here, this is a popular string. It's a Bablot RPM Blast. The gauge in, in this scenario is at 130.16. That is the gauge of this string, and we will see why it's important. The tennis string gauge is simply the diameter of the string. In other, in other words, how wide is it? Uh, somewhat counterintuitively, the higher the gauge, the thinner the string. When I first started learning about strings, that was a little bit confusing to me because an 18 gauge string is thinner than a 15, even though 18 is higher. Here's a tennis string gauge chart. As you see, uh, tennis string gauges range from 15 to 19, and they're measured in the diameter of the uh, in millimeters. So as you can see, 15, which is the thickest string offered is going to be between 1.41 and 1.49 millimeters. It's a very thick tennis string for today's tennis. And the 19 uh, gauge string is 1 millimeter to 1.1 millimeter, which is a very thin string for today's tennis. Uh, and if you notice in between some numbers, there's uh, a number with an L by it. That just means light, and basically it's kind of in between. Like a 16L is going to be in between a 16 and 17. So it's going to be a little bit thinner than a 16 and a little bit thicker than a 17. The most popular string gauges in today's tennis are the 16, the 16L, and the 17 gauges. Uh, rather than listed as a number, the gauge will also be listed as um, its millimeter diameter. Uh, so in other words, if you see a 16 gauge string, it sometimes may say 130. Or a 17, it may be listed as a 120. Uh, so just be aware when you're looking for a string gauge, you may not see a number, you may just see the uh, diameter in millimeters. So what are the advantages of a lower gauge or a thicker string? Well, durability is going to be your big advantage. Uh, you can spend less on string because you will not be breaking as many strings. Uh, you don't want to be playing a match and break strings every other game. And not only does that get expensive, but uh, it can really throw you off your rhythm if you're playing well. Uh, that's why a very durable or a, a lower gauge string is great for heavy hitters. They don't have to worry about breaking strings often and they can really uh, swing hard and, and play their game. And you can also use a more elastic string. This is a pretty important point. We're not going over the string material in this video, but if you use a thicker string, you can sometimes change the material into something a little bit more elastic and something that uh, is a little bit more delicate knowing that the, uh, the thicker string will be able to hold up for ground strokes. The advantages of a higher gauge or a thinner string is basically just enhanced playability. Uh, the thinner strings really can embed themselves in the ball better. Uh, you have a good trampoline effect. Uh, a lot of people think this can increase your spin and power potential because as the strings embed themselves in the ball, you can really get some good top spin as well as some power. So uh, all in all, they offer great playability and they can also be softer on the arm if you have tennis elbow or, or arm pain uh, because it's gonna, that trampoline effect and a little bit softer string bed will help uh, ease arm pain a little bit. So how to decide what string gauge to use? Uh, I would just ask yourself these these questions. Uh, are you a chronic string breaker? If you're breaking a lot of strings and you're playing with a 17L or a, an 18 uh, and you want to use the same string material, you're going to have to go to a lower gauge if you want to continue using those strings. And what type of string do you use? Is it a durable polyester string or a delicate multi-filament string? I know we haven't talked about material in this, but uh, it's important to know. And are you looking for more power and willing to restring if the string breaks? A lot of competitive players, they're okay with breaking strings from time to time. They want that enhanced playability. So if they have to restring once a week, uh, they're willing to do it for that enhanced playability. So if that's something you're okay with, then going with a, a thinner gauge string or uh, a higher gauge uh, can make some sense. Finally, I just wanted to show some real life examples. Uh, these are really popular hybrid strings that are, are sold at any tennis store or, or Amazon. Uh, these are really popular for some of the top professionals as well as popular here at the stringing shop. A lot, a lot of competitive players love these stringing packages. I just wanted to uh, uh, look at the string gauge of each of these. Keep in mind this is how they're, they're sold, uh, so we don't have to go and, and buy different strings. Now, if you look at the Babylon Hybrid, see how the natural gut string, which is going to be a more delicate string, its gauge it comes with is 16, yet the RPM Blast, uh, which is a polyester based string, is 17 gauge. So, makers of Babylon know 
that a natural gut is going to be more likely to break, so they automatically will go a little bit uh, thicker string with that 16 gauge, and they know a polyester-based string is is going to be more durable, so that's why they're comfortable going with a 17 gauge string. And you'll see a lot of you'll see a lot of people do that where if they're going to use a delicate string, they'll go a lower gauge, and if they're using a uh, a, a sturdy string, they can go a higher gauge. And this is the Wilson's Champion's Choice. They have a natural gut 16 uh, and an ALU Power Rough 16L, which is a little bit thinner because that is a co-poly string, and uh, the makers of the string know that uh, if you're using a, a sturdy string, you can go a little bit higher on the gauge and a little bit thinner string. So these are two very popular stringing setups. As you can see, it goes along with what we said. A thicker string is great if uh, it's a delicate string, in this case natural gut, and you can go a little bit higher gauge if it is a, a durable string, in this case polyester. This is Drew from Frisco Tennis String, and I hope you enjoyed this short video on tennis string gauge. It's a very important factor to know when you're looking for tennis string. I wrote a book on the subject called Tennis Strings Made Easy. You can find that on Amazon. I'll link to it below, and I hope to talk soon.